Hello everybody, in this video I would like to show to you how to apply a histogram equalization in a Python, both the global histogram equalization and adaptive histogram equalization. So I'll briefly explain about the histogram equalization. Here I have an image of an eye and this is my original image, this is the result of global histogram equalization and this is the result of adaptive histogram equalization and below here is the image of a histogram of the pixel intensity as well as the cumulative density function so, all right the first figure here on the left is my original image as you can see the image is very dark i can see clearly the vein here and as we see in if we see in here in the histogram we can see that the pixel intensity value almost belong to this area or we can say that the pixel intensity is below a uh, hundred which is mean the dark dark color here and if we apply a global uh, histogram equalization this process will stretch this uh, histogram so the uh, cumulative density function, function will linear as shown in this image but as a result uh, the image is too bright and then we can apply another method or improvement of the histogram equalization called as the contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization so adapt adaptive here mean that the histogram equalization is performed in a small area of the image so the image is divided into a small uh, area, small section. Here I divided the image by 8 by 8 pixel, and then apply the histogram equalization in a 8 by 8 pixel of the image. Then uh, in his in here the contrast limited mean that the maximum number of pixel that can has a certain intensity value is limit uh, so here as we can see that let's say there is around maybe almost 60,000 pixel has an intensity value of 55 so in a contrast limited that makes that number is reduced so we can see here maybe around only 15,000 pixel that has a value uh, around 30 intensity value and if that uh, pixel value has more than 15,000 pixel, it will cut and then this redistribute to the other pixel intensity value. And as the result, the image looks much better. I can see clearly the fan here in this image. So now let's we jump to the spider ADE and I'll show you how to perform it in using in a Python. Alright, so here is my spider ADE. I already prepared the code on how to perform the histogram equalization. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is import the library. Here I mainly use uh, three Python library. The first one is the OpenCV, import it as a CV2, and then NumPy and the last one is methodlib.pyplot to show in the result first let's we uh, import our original image oh sorry i should run this first okay this is my original image i call it as variable f okay here's my image the next uh, we calculate the cumulative density function and then display the histogram okay how to do that here is the code okay let's run this code first so np.histogram will calculate the will return uh, two variable the first one is histogram and the second one is the beans so the bean here is the kind of the unique number that show the pixel intensity value if we open here there are 256 beans 
So here this is the pixel intensity value uh, 0, 1, 2, up to 256 but here it's up to 200 yes, up to 256 and then the his here is the histogram so you can as you can see here the the index here mean uh, we can you can interpret this as a um, pixel intensity value and the number here represents the total number of pixels that has this intensity value so here there are 331 pixels that has pixel intensity value 0 and here quite large around 400 oh, or sorry there are 40,000 pixels that has pixel intensity value 13 and next I calculate the cumulative density function using this uh, line of code let's run this code okay here the variable cdf is the cumulative density function so uh, the cumulative density function is just a summation cumulative sum of this histogram uh, number so here as we can see the first number is 331 and the second num number is the 691 so this number come from sum of 360 plus 331 and here this number is come from 446 plus 360 plus 331 and so on so by the end of the number this is show the total number of the pixel in this image so if we multiply this number 709 times 665 then the this will number okay so in the next code I normalize this cumulative density function by defining with the maximum number or the total number of pixel because usually we show the cumulative density function in in range of 0 and 1 okay let's run this code sorry so here the normalized version start from 0 and then up to 1 so in this code I just plot the uh, histogram first and then I plot the cumulative density function normalized of cumulative density function but here as you see in my the previous presentation file uh, there are two the axes uh, vertical axis y axis with different scale so here I use the uh, x dot twin met x method to produce a plot with two uh, y axis at different scale okay let's run this code from here up to here okay so this is my original image and this is the histogram so the x show the pixel intensity the y axis on the left show the total number of the pixel and uh, the y axis on the right show the cumulative density function so here the slope as you can see here uh, the, the increment of this cumulative density function means that there some pixel has a value between 0 up to maybe 20 and the flat line here showing me that there's no pixel intensity no pixel has this intensity value for ranging from in this area as well as this area okay next we move to the global histogram equalization here code is very simple you only need perform this code cv2 dot equalize his and the input here is our image the original image which is f i call it as f let's rerun this code okay so this is the image from the global histogram equalization and the next code actually same as previously where i calculate the histogram and then calculate the cumulative density function and then show the result okay so this is the uh, histogram as well as the cumulative density function from the global equalization method as you can see here that the histogram equalization kind of transform the histogram of this original image such as make the cumulative density function become linear so linearly increased as shown in this line 
Now we apply the contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization using these two lines of code. First, I create an instance that call is CLAHE using the cp2.createclahe. So here is the clip limit. You can change any clip limit number and this tile grid size is the size of small portion of the image. So here is the histogram equalization is performed in the 8 by 8 pixel, every 8 by 8 pixel here. And here I apply this uh, contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization in the our original image F and show the result here. Let's turn this here. Here is the result of uh, contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization. And here I perform the same code as previously to display the histogram in cumulative density function. So alright, here's the result of contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization. So as you can see here the histogram usually looks similar as the original image but the intensity value around this area is kind of straight but not up to the maximum number as in the global histogram equalization and as the result the image looks much better i can see clearly the fan here so thank you for watching i hope you find some useful from this uh, video